Hello, I'm Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Many of you know me from my years with the Los Angeles Lakers on the basketball court. Today, I'm talking to you as a concerned citizen. Did you know that according to a recent national survey, nearly half of you go to school afraid of a bully? Your education is too important not to have your full attention on school. That's why I want you to learn street smart skills to effectively deal with bullies. You don't need to grow up afraid. Learn to be bully smart. This video will show you how to apply Street Smart's four-step personal safety system to the problems you face on a daily basis. Learn how to master and apply the principles and techniques in this video, and you will be safer. You nerd! Yeah, what are you looking at? Nothing. Oops. We should call you Dumbo. I mean, look at your ear. Yeah, elephant ears. Have you ever been bullied, humiliated, and scared by someone bigger, stronger, or older than you? Most of us at one time or another have. In fact, Kid Peace, an organization dedicated to creating an environment of safety for children, reports that 43% of all kids are afraid of bullies. Being bullied isn't fun. That's why it's important for you, all of us, to become street smart. We are all candidates for teasing and bullying. Bullies come in all shapes and forms. They use peer pressure, harsh words to threaten you or get you to do things against your will. They make fun of you and use fear of physical force. There are a number of reasons why bullies do what they do. They often feel inferior, frustrated, and angry. Sometimes they're just plain scared themselves. Being insecure, they feel as though they need to take out their fears and frustrations on someone else to cover their own fears and frustrations. They want power and attention and are willing to use other people to get it. They try to make themselves feel better by getting revenge and making someone else miserable. This video is to help you know how to deal with bullies. So what are your options when you're bothered by a bully? Your parents can discuss this with you. Whenever you hear this signal, pause the VCR for a discussion with your parents, like this. After you've paused the VCR and had a discussion with your parents with the information that we've provided, then just hit the pause button again and we'll get on with it. Let's try it. What do you do when a bully makes fun of you? Bullies take something away from you. force you to do something you don't want to do. Bullies act like they're better than you. Even though you feel you're at a bully's mercy, it's important to remember that you always have a choice. Becoming street smart is our answer. Our Street Smart program is a simple, effective, four-step approach to personal safety from bullies. Before we can teach you about what to do with a bully, we must talk to you about what you can do with yourself. When you help yourself, you've come a long way in handling bullies. Teasing is an enemy to self-esteem. When you hear bad things said about yourself, especially from people who seem powerful or important, you start to believe them. You don't. Street smart kids have self-esteem. How do you get self-esteem? Self-esteem consists of two things, self-respect and self-confidence. Self-confidence is believing in your physical and mental capabilities. Confidence builds on success and success builds on confidence. Get involved with school activities. Being an active participant in life creates self-confidence and lets you meet all kinds of friends. 
Be your own cheerleader. Think of all your achievements that you can be proud of and learn to be a leader. Imagine everything that you do well and all that you like about yourself as a victory. Then fill out your Street Smart Victory Card. Being a positive person makes a big difference. Self-respect comes by living up to your values. A person with self-respect knows what they value and then they stand up for what they believe. A street smart kid feels confident and in control. No. If you can convince a bully that his teasing doesn't bother you and it rolls right off your back, you're on your way. As well as having self-confidence and self-respect, street smart kids know techniques that they can use to help protect themselves. They're called street smarts. The Street Smart program consists of four simple steps. Avoid, surprise, stun, and run. I've seen my share of wars on the basketball court, but the last place you want to be at war is on the street. Learn these avoidance principles. They will help you stay out of trouble. The first principle in becoming street smart is to avoid the bully. Your body language and actions can tell a bully two things, either you like yourself or you don't. If your body and actions say you don't like yourself, you're an easy target for bullies to pick on. An interesting fact tells us that it only takes a bully seven seconds to size up a victim. What is a bully seeing when he looks at you? What does a victim's body language look like? His shoulders are drooped, head is bowed, his face may look fearful, sad, or shy, and he may be looking at the ground. Not a picture of self-esteem. What does his body language say to a bully? It means that I feel inferior to you. You are better or stronger than me, and I am weak and afraid. That's one way to avoid a bully, but not a very good one. Walk tall. Be cautious and observant, and learn to say no. The first principle of avoidance is to walk tall. The best way to avoid a bully is to learn and maintain confident body language and actions. What is this girl saying? Even though she doesn't say anything out loud, her body language is screaming out that she doesn't like herself, and if you want to pick on me, go ahead. Street smart kids respect themselves and show up by walking with their shoulders back and their head up. This boy is more aware and watchful of his surroundings as he walks. His actions send out self-confident messages to those around him. A street smart person keeps his head up, looks from side to side, uses a firm voice inflection, and walks with a definite purpose. Remember those critical seven seconds? What your body language says to those around you can make a serious difference in determining whether or not a bully is choosing you as a victim. The second principle of avoidance is to learn to be cautious and observant. Watch. This means to be smart. By staying away from possible bad situations, you refuse to be bullied. Avoid clothing that might make you look like you're part of a gang. Avoid areas where bullies are known to hang out. Avoid being out at odd hours. There's wisdom in learning from those who are just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try to avoid it, you might be confronted by a bully that threatens you or tries to get you to fight or do something you don't want to do. What do you do then? Come on, man, take a drink. It's good. Then you can be Peer pressure boss. is the most no. common hook to Come get on, kids to do things against you their will. Friends are very important, and too often young kids are put into a situation where they think being a friend is doing what others tell you to do. No, I don't want to fight. Just leave me alone. Come on, man. Take a drink. No, I don't want any trouble. I just want to be left alone. Harold does a good job here saying no, but is this all he can do to avoid being hurt or humiliated? What else could you do? number of things that Harold can do to get out of the situation. And we'll go over each in just one moment. But first, it's important to understand that a street smart kid refuses to fall into the trap of peer pressure by standing up for what you value and learning how to say no without any hesitation. 
You'll be saying to those around you that you're a powerful person and you refuse to be bullied. I know that growing up is tough and there are always times when some kid will get in your face wanting to fight. However, bully smart kids will not fight. Instead, they will use the bully smart surprise techniques to get out of the situation without fighting. Now that you know the three street smart avoidance principles, walk tall, be cautious and observant, and saying no, we'll learn how to take control of any situation when you're approached by a bully. We're going to teach you the four different steps to being street smart. The first was avoidance, and the second is surprise. The five simple rules we will now be showing you will reduce your risk of getting hurt while helping you to avoid making common mistakes that would put you at risk if you were ever approached by a bully. Rule number one, never let the person approaching invade your personal space. Now let me define personal space. Tony's going to be our bully today. I want to be far enough away from Tony so that he can't kick me. If I'm closer than that, he can either kick or hit me. That's my personal space. Wade, would you demonstrate for us? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Wade did just the right thing to protect his personal space. Just take a few steps back. Always keep a safe distance. You can talk just as easily to a person from a safe distance. If you allow a person to invade your personal space, you'll have to put yourself at great risk of getting hurt. Rule number two is to take an appropriate, non-threatening stance when approached. We like to call it a street smart stance. Though some might think it's foolish to always assume this stance, we feel it's better to be safe than sorry. The street smart stance is first done by not standing square to the bully approaching. If you stand square to the bully, you only give them more targets to attack. If I stand this way towards Tony, then he has all these areas that he can hit me. But if I stand this way, then he doesn't have half so many areas. What we want you to do is to take an offline stance by either stepping back with either your right or your left leg, like this. As you can see, this reduces by half the number of targets that the bully now has. The next part of the stance is to bring your arm up in the universal sign of stop. This serves many purposes. First, it tells the bully to stop coming forward and invading your personal space. If I do this towards Tony, then it means that he should stop and not come forward any closer. Second, it protects you if the bully tries to tackle you. I can lift my elbow and stop him right there. Third, it protects you if the bully tries to punch you. All you have to do is put your hand up to your head like this. Last but not least, this stance makes it very easy to shuffle back and keep the bully out of your personal space by stepping backwards with your rear leg, then dragging the front back. Like that. Can you demonstrate for us? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Wade. OK, what if a bully comes up and tries to punch you? That's right. And what if he tries to tackle you? You stop him with your elbow. And what if you need to back up and get away from him? That's right. Last but not least, this stance makes it very easy to shuffle back and keep the bully out of your personal space by stepping backwards with your rear leg and then dragging the front back like this. Rule number three is to never take your eyes off the person approaching. This seems simple, but it's one of the most common mistakes made. The split second that you take your eyes off the bully is all he needs to make you a victim. If Tony's coming towards me and he asks me a question... You got something on your shirt. The stance is totally ruined. But if I don't look away... You got something on your shirt. Then I'm still protecting my personal space. Wade? Okay. Hey, you got something on your shirt. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> He couldn't get you because you had your personal space. Rule number four, use a firm voice inflection. How you speak to a person approaching is crucial. If your voice is weak and timid, you're telling the bully that they're in charge and that you're afraid of them. If Tony's coming at me and I say, oh, don't stop, don't come any closer, then he's going to think that I'm just frightened that he's going to beat me up. 
Instead, what we want you to do is talk firmly, be blunt, and ask the person approaching what they want. Never be afraid to look the boy straight in the eye and say, leave me alone. Remember Harold? One of the few things he did right was to look the bully in the eye and tell him in a firm, commanding voice to leave him alone. Will you show us, Wade? Yeah. What do you want? I was just wondering what we did in math. Rule number five is to quickly find out what the bully's intentions are. Most bullies really don't want to fight, but if you think he might try to hurt you, the best thing to do is simply turn and run. From your street smart stance, this is very easy to do. You just go right off the front foot and you run away. Never be ashamed to run. It's better to be safe than hurt. If for some reason you can't run, we will teach you some stun techniques and dirty tricks to use as a last resort to create a chance for you to run. But first, let's see the surprise techniques work. Remember, act, don't react. Act as if you know exactly what you're doing. Handle the situation non-violently, but go right into the street smart stance to show that you mean business. Let's watch Harold do it. Hey, we want you to... Leave me alone. Well, we just wanted you to... I said leave me alone. Pretty good, huh? But alone, it may not be enough. Let's go back to the studio to take a look at the third step of being street smart. Stun. But before we do, why don't you practice the surprise step with your parents? techniques and dirty tricks we will be teaching you should only be used as a last resort. Most bullies are going to be larger, stronger, and better fighters than you, so we're going to teach you how to be smarter. These 10 techniques have been proven effective and will take bullies by surprise because they don't expect them. But before we learn these techniques, what do you think happens to your body when you're confronted by a bully? Your blood pressure rises, your heart races, your breathing becomes shallow, you get an adrenaline rush, you feel what is called the fight or flight response. This makes running very easy, but makes all complicated martial art moves almost impossible to perform. Because of this response, we recommend that you master our 10 street smart techniques. They're all easy to do and work in any situation. Your first option is to pull the bully's hair. This is easily done out of your street smart stance. To correctly pull the bully's hair, you step forward with your front leg, slide your hand deeply into the scalp line, squeezing the hair hard while grabbing the head with the opposite hand. Be careful not to grab the hair loosely. It will make the hair pull less effective. As you also noticed, when done correctly, your hips are in the perfect position to run. Wade, can you show us? Love to. Thanks. As you just saw, the hair pull is very effective. But what if the bully's hair is too short to pull? What other areas can you strike to buy time to run? We want you to each make a fist. That's good, but we don't want to teach you how to punch. Instead, we feel a slap is more effective and easier to master. Plus, you won't hurt your hand. To slap correctly, keep your front leg planted while bringing your rear leg forward and slapping with your hands cupped. You can do this slap even if the bully grabs you. If the bully has grabbed you, pull the hand that is grabbed back as you slap the bully. Wait. Thank you. Another effective slap is to the bully's groin. As the bully approaches, bring your rear hand forward and step forward with your rear leg. This is a perfect shot to use if the bully charges towards you. All of these slaps put you in perfect positions to run. Wait. OK. The elbow is one of the hardest bones and best weapons your body has. They're thrown much like a slap, 
To practice, we suggest that you stick your fist under your chin like this, and then step forward with your rear leg while rotating your hips and shoulders. This is an effective strike whether you're grabbed or not. Wait. All right. Remember, if you're grabbed, pull the hand out as you throw the elbow. Elbow strikes are also effective against the front choke. Most people try to break the front choke by going through the middle, like this. As you can see, this is a strength move. What we suggest is that you bring both arms to the side, like this, and rotate your hips and shoulders while striking with either elbow, like this. This is simple, requires no strength, and gets you out of a bad situation. Wait, you try it. Instead of trying to kick the bully, we suggest you use a knee strike instead. Kneeing the bully is much simpler, and you can knee a bully any place in the leg to be effective. Don't think you have to knee to the groin to be effective. Any place you hit on a bully's knee, leg, or stomach will give you more than enough time to run. Wait, can you show us? While you're kneeing the bully, you can also grab them with your thumbs, like this. Stomping on the foot is another easy technique. Two-thirds of the bones in the body are located in the foot, and it takes only four pounds of pressure to break one. To execute the stomp, just bring your leg up and stomp down hard on the person's foot with your heel. Once you've stomped on the bully's foot, run away, and we guarantee that he will be slow to follow. Wait. All right. Biting is another simple technique. How you execute the bite depends on how the attacker has grabbed you. If he has you in a rear headlock, simply turn your head toward the attacker and bite hard. As you can see, this makes the bully let go really quick. Once he does, run away fast. We only recommend that you use the bite when you're grabbed, and then we recommend that you bite through the bully's clothes. Wait, you try it. If by chance the bully knocks you to the ground, be careful how you get back to your feet. Don't roll over on your stomach, because the bully will grab your head and bounce it off the sidewalk. Instead, stay on your back, resting your weight on your hand, and then wait until the bully approaches. Then, you deliver a kick, rotate out, and run. Wade, would you like to try? Sure. Now that we've taught you the stun techniques, we're going to teach you a few dirty tricks. Say, for example, I'm walking down the street and I have some candy in my hand, and I see a bully approaching me. All I have to do is take the street smart stance, throw the candy in his face, and it gives me enough time to run. Now, in this instance, I threw candy, but you can really throw anything you have with you. You can throw coins, pens, books, anything you have in your hands. Another dirty trick is if a bully is approaching you, and you've got a magazine, you just roll it up, hit him, and run. Now, the last trick we'll teach you today is, say I have a little bit of water here. I'm walking down the street, and I see a bully coming towards me. I think he's going to hurt me. All I have to do so the water right in his face, and it gives me some time to run away. Now that you know the street smart stun techniques and dirty tricks, remember to only use them as a last resort. Try to make every effort possible to get away from the bully without fighting. Remember, the longer you're near the assailant, the less your chances for escape. Fighting will only increase your chances of getting hurt, 
You might not be as strong as the attacker, but you'll be smarter. Open the space to run. Use the two-step escape. Then run, the final and most important step in the Street Smart system. Hey, we want you to... Leave me alone. Well, we just wanted you to... I said leave me alone. You want trouble, huh? Pal? After any of the stun techniques, run like you've never run before. Your attacker is not playing by any rules, so use anything at your disposal to get away safely without injury. The street smart stun techniques and dirty tricks are common sense maneuvers which help you to escape. There's no shame in getting away from a bad situation quickly and safely. There is also no shame in getting an adult to help you. Whenever you begin the street smart technique, yell for help and keep on yelling till someone comes to help you. And don't be a bully yourself. Use your power to make the world a safer place. There's no perfect answer when dealing with bullies. In our opinion, this four-step system is your best chance. There are risks if you decide to use these techniques. One risk is possible retaliation by the bully. That's why we tell you to get your parents and responsible adults involved to help you deal with the problem. Another risk is that the bully might use a weapon. Never try to fight a bully who is using a weapon. Remember, the most important part of our system is avoidance. Now that you've learned Street Smart System, it's time for your final test by going and explaining the Street Smart System to your parents. Question number one How does a Street Smart kid walk down the street? Number two. What's the best way to solve a conflict? Question number three. What do you say if a bully tries to pick a fight? Hey, we want you to... Leave me alone. Well, we just wanted you to... I said leave me alone. Number four. How do you protect your personal space? Question number five. Demonstrate how to get into the street smart stance. What do you want? I just want to... And number six, demonstrate each of the stun tactics. If you answered all of the questions correctly, pat yourself on the back. If not, review the video until you get all the questions correct. Remember to practice, practice, practice. A street smart kid is a safe kid. Get street smart. Now that you know our street smart skills to be safe, you're just getting started. Watching our tape is the easy part. Now you have to apply what you have learned. Review our street smart material until it has become second nature to you. Practice the techniques and skills often. The world is a great place and now it is time for us to make it a safer place. By all of us taking a stand and saying no to more violence, we are well on our way. Take care and remember to always be street smart. As a police officer, I've seen a lot of sad things, but one of the worst is the abduction of a child. Have you prepared your children to effectively deal with strangers? Give them the street smart skills they will need to deal with this situation. Don't take a chance. Order Stranger Smart. Stranger Smart's home video course will teach your kids how to be safe from abductors and molesters. Call 1-800-9-SMART-1 and help your kids become street smart. Over 90% of all who start a martial art quit. It's too time-consuming, expensive, and complicated. 
With one violent crime being committed every 17 seconds, we need to protect ourselves. My new four-step self-defense system can teach you skills today that you can use in the street tomorrow. Call 1-800-9-SMART-1. Street Smart's program is the best thing for your safety. Call 1-800-9-SMART-1.